Hey, what's up? This is Black Kermit channeling through. Okay, so I'm channeling through. I don't know if it's just you. I go by a lot of names, but hey, I'm just gonna channel through. You know, my this lifetime as Black Kermit, cause you know, I gotta do it. So, um, I'll be honest with you. Um, I was always interested in magic, even though you know some folks didn't agree with me. A lot of folks they didn't agree with me growing up. You know, saying that that was just the black arts. You shouldn't be getting into it. Like some shit could happen to you. And so, you know, I don't know. Ever since I was a kid, I was a real fucking weirdo. I was just into shit that wasn't normal to any other kid. I was like Prince Herman, because he, he taught me a few things about life, okay? For, as from Coming from a young man when I was a grown man, he taught me a lot of things. And so, um, you know, I was just a weird kid. I was a weird motherfucker, and I was proud of it. I was fine with it. And so, you know, my mama didn't like that. She didn't like that I was so weird i was like the odd one out in school but you know it's because i just i don't i wanted to do my own thing throughout my life and you know a lot of times my mama didn't really she didn't really respect that and so you know my daddy he was actually neutral towards it but eh, it kind of happened that way but no i have reincarnated obviously you know i'm here it's just i'm still healing but no i i need to talk about the magic industry and the colleges so i'm gonna tell you you folks like <laughs> You know, in, in the, the college, yeah, the, the college is fucked up because, you know, I only went to college. Like, I do that in every lifetime because what it is that I don't want to make my parents look at me bad because they always do that to me. Like, if I don't go to college, I do this, do something with at least some college, they get mad at me or, you know, they do some other bullshit. So whatever, I, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not upset. But yeah, and so, you know, I had to do another degree in this lifetime and it was at least something I liked. It was actually a really good, um degree that I got into you know something I was interested in and so you know after that I said well you know maybe I should just do something with it so you know I ended up just working in the job normal job and then um with all the knowledge that I knew I was just reading more about magic and you know the dark arts that's when I was just kind of going on my own and you know I started reading up about that and then you know I stopped having a lot of friends because you know I completely got into this 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 arts the the black arts and i was afraid that you know maybe some folks just wouldn't they wouldn't really um agree with me what i would do what i did so you know what i would do because i was interested in that stuff and so yeah i lived the life of being very misunderstood because i was into the black arts i was into you know black magic and shit but the thing is the reason why i was into it is because i think i always thought that maybe it's just not as bad as it seemed you know they'd be like okay so for instance, like Lucifer, okay? Like I always thought that maybe Lucifer ain't, ain't as bad as he seems. What if he just, he just misunderstood? So I was always that man that just, I just always wanted to understand the dark and light. I wanted to understand both sides of the story without a motherfucker saying that it was separate. And so yeah, I ended up like growing up for my whole life really being misunderstood because I just wanted to be understood. That's all I wanted to be. And so, like, you know, I ended up um, in that lifetime as Black Kerman, you know. I ended up having some folks understand me because I became famous. But in other lifetimes, and I still became, had a little bit of fame in this lifetime too, right? But the thing is, like, what really was hard on me is that there's a lot of people that watched me. And, you know, they liked my shit. They were into what I was into. But I don't think people really love me for who I was. And so, you know, that's when, um, like, you know, I just felt like nobody really accepted me for me. And that was really when my wife came in, when Marie Laveau came in in my lifetimes, is because she was always there to remind me that what I did was, because um, everybody, I think that people would be talking behind my back. I felt like they did, like, they would be taught. I felt it. Like, I don't know. Jesus told me. He told me all of my higher self. He always told me that people was talking behind my back or they were just only friends with me because they were only friends with me. And then, you know, everyone in my lifetimes when my daddy would pass and he wouldn't be around, like, people would, they, they'd always, because he always had health problems. My daddy always had health problems. And, like, you know, I had these people who I'd be like, oh, I'm sorry, Black Kermit, for your loss. But, like, I felt like it wasn't it didn't mean the same as any it just didn't really mean a lot because like 
at the end of the day, I needed somebody to really tell me if it was okay. And, you know, that's why, um, in my lifetime, I just kind of, I don't know, I kind of stuck in my own lane. Like, yeah, I interacted with folks. I showed folks magic and all these other things. But it's like, really, at the end of the day, I needed something. I needed somebody to really tell me, to remind me who I am. To remind me of my own worth because like that shit beat me down when people don't understand me that really beat me the fuck up because and that just happens to me in every lifetime is because like i do something different and my family puts me down for it and it hurts the fuck out of me and so what i end up doing is i usually just end up going my own way and you know um i go my own way but then you know when i when i meet my wife in this lifetime she makes me feel not understood misunderstood you know she used to always do the nice things when we used to meet really nice things and um you know sometimes it makes me cry because i was like you know like that was the only person she was the only person who came in every lifetime to kind of just that's the thing that's the thing about marrying my wife in this lifetime is because she has the ability, like, yeah. I, <laughs> no, but that's a, that's different. Her, her brother just a fuck up. See, the brother, he, like I said, remember how we were talking earlier about how the brother, he wouldn't talk to Mary's friends because they were not good looking, <laughs> okay? Or whatever motherfucking business. And so, um, the reason why I like that story a lot about Mary, I like that story about my wife in this, uh, you know, this lifetime is because my wife, she is that type of woman where she will love anybody for who they are and that's really deep because the thing is with mary i get why she wouldn't be with all the pretty friends okay she wouldn't be with all the pretty friends because they were not real they were fake and so you know when you be with people that don't care about their appearance they care more about their soul and so you know like i thought that was like like you know who cares if herman was being his motherfucking way being superficial he's He's got his own business. He's a fucking, just a dick sometimes, but he's a good man. But, um, no, Herman to James. Sorry, because there's two Hermans speaking, right? Like, that's, that's her brother, Herman to James in that lifetime. And in this lifetime, yeah, that's what he did. He would do that shit. But no, it actually really hit me deep because I was like, wow. So, like, she's a type of person where she'll take anybody. She'll love anybody. And so, like, um, my strength in every lifetime is that, um, you know, I always get down on myself because I'm in such the dark arts like I'm in this really dark magic There's people that praise my work. They look up to me But um, you know, they don't end up Really like caring about me. They don't end up giving a fuck about me. So yeah, I'll, I'll, I'm just getting it out of the way um, I did not like the colleges because they was just Repressing me. I feel like something wasn't right, but you know what? Um I just want to talk more about, um, yeah, like, so this is what happened, just, um, I don't agree with any of that, that magic stuff, I don't agree with any of those other things, but, you know, it is what it is, um, but yeah, I've always remained true to myself, true to my magic, but yeah, anyways, going back to, to, um, to this lifetime, yeah, so it's like, I always get people around me who, like, yeah, they say they understand me, but it's like, I just really need somebody to really understand me. Somebody to tell me that they really love my work. Somebody that, like, like if it feels like they mean it. And I felt like nobody was doing that until my wife came in my life. So, she was a person that was able to understand and love me for the way I am. And she would always tell me, you would never have to change for anybody. And that was really powerful. And that really made me fall in love with her. I couldn't help it. I couldn't help but fall in love with her. But, you know, it's it's because, like, in every lifetime, people always be praising me about my magic and shit. But, like, nobody would ever take the time out of the day to fucking do shit. She would always do all the stuff when I met my wife. She was so nice. She would, like, give me money. Or, like, just randomly. Like, she would just do that. And um, I would go crazy because what it was is that she would just disappear for a little bit. I'd be like, 
huh? Where'd you go? Like, like you're just like an angel that just comes in and out of my life. And so um, I would end up crying a lot because I'd be like, where'd you go, angel? Like, where are you? Like, I'm still in, you know, I dream of her too. And, and that's how I would do it every like, time I would dream of her. I'd say, where'd you go, angel? Where'd you go? And so understand, that's the thing, brothers, is that um, the importance of somebody loving you who you are is important. But yeah, um, maybe I'll make another video of this, okay?